Hey guys, today's Thursday. Um, today I want to make uh, this video for a while. Now, um, way back then, let's say 10, 15 years ago, I played so many games. And these games were addicting. And video game companies, they were making some good, great games way back then. All of a sudden, it's like, Okay, where's the sequel to this? Where's the, the the prequel to this? And then it's already been 20 years. And they never came back to these games that made the money that brought them to, to the dance in the first place. So I took five games between five to one. One being the best. So the first game is called Resistance Fall Man and came on the PlayStation 3 and they came out with three games to this series and it's based on uh, World War 2 and you fight aliens and stuff like that but it's a very good game it's a first person shooter this made a lot of uh, money to Sony but they never you know after three games it's like okay now the PlayStation 4 era began they just forgot about this game. And this game is good. I recommend it. The, four, the fourth game. Is called. Killzone. Killzone. I remember I got the first game. That when it came out on the Playstation 2. And then. Uh, uh, Sony. They, and when the Playstation 3 era began. They kept on. And, and they came, came out with a trilogy. Now when the PlayStation 4 era began, they came out with Shadows Fall for Killzone. First person shooter, the graphics are so tight. Just these graphics are still very good in this modern day. Now that PlayStation 5 era began, where's my Shadows Fall? Where's my Killzone trilogy? Sony, where's my new Killzone game? Anyways, so the third game, <laughs> this game, oh my gosh, it's also based on World War II. I remember I was sitting in my sofa and uh, I played this on the Xbox 360 that I got in the back over here. And like, wow, this game is so nice. Way back then, the graphics were out of this world. It's like, it's an open world, um, but it's based in France and everything. First person shooter. Uh, and you're helping out the resistance in France. It's called the Saboteur. Wow, what happened? Sony, it made money to you. What What happened? What? Where's, the, where's my sequel? Where's my prequel? Where's... Part two to this. This will make you money. Just update the graphics. Come out with a remaster. Or a new storyline. Hey. This deserves. This des deserves an opportunity. Run your money. Yep. Salvador. This game. Oh my gosh. This brings back a lot of memories. Summer Breeze and everything. Back in 2011. But I didn't even know they had a part two to this. And I played part two. I played this game also on the PlayStation 2. Instead of the um, original Xbox and the Xbox 360. But I played this on the PlayStation, PlayStation 2 for the first time. It's called Mercenaries Part 2 World in Flames. When I, got, when, when I started playing this game, I'm like, okay. It's so an open world based in Venezuela, and, and, and you're a mercenary, and you're trying to liberate um, the, the, the good guys, so y'all can topple the bad government and everything that's trying to be the government in Venezuela, and you already know what's, what happened back already. <laughs> but anyways, this has some good graphics, it's an open world, it's a third person shooter. I recommend this game. 
uh, Sony, please, mercenaries, we need we need some of these old sequels, prequels from 15 years ago, please. And the number one that I wanted to show y'all is one of my favorite games of all time, and I was yeah, playing this every day. I finished I finished it three times. Oh, two, two and a half, two and a half. I remember. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas Part 1. Oh my gosh. This game. Uh, it's like I was eating my food. Then to this game. This game was so good. And I know they made a part 2. Excuse me. Um, a part 2 to this. But. You know what? Why don't you have another part three? Make it a, a, a storyline. A big storyline. Guaranteed that this will bring you money. Yep. It could even be candidate of the year for the uh, award, uh, games award. Yep. Well, guys, girls, there you have it. These are the top five that I picked to see if they... I wish these video game companies would listen. We need these sequels. We need these prequels. Yeah. So, um, maybe in the future I'll do another uh, video just like this. Another sequel. Uh, bring back sequels. Prequels. Yes. So, good night. Stay tuned for other videos to come. Alright.